Today's video will be on how do we get started. Firstly, we will do a technical study on the palm oil mill's existing infrastructure, the system and effluent parameters based on data from the treated palm oil mill. Before a site visit is made, a mill preliminary questionnaire is sent to the palm oil mill manager for us to better understand the palm oil mill's BOD target objectives, the current efficacy and efficiency of upstream and downstream mechanical systems, the anaerobic facultative and aerobic processes, sludge treatment and current disposal methods, and also the data analysis at each stage is required. Today, I'll be doing a case study on a palm oil mill in Malaysia. Before the site visit, we will have a completed mill preliminary questionnaire as well as a schematic on the effluent flow process of the palm oil mill. A tour of the actual site is necessary for us to better understand the actual flow system and to appreciate some of the finer points that we may miss from the schematic diagram. And also, we may take some additional samples of POME for independent testing. This is the schematic of the effluent flow process of our case study. At a glance, you can see that the owners are serious in treating POME. Most plants will not even have a fraction of the investment or the equipment or the mechanical systems that have gone in into treating POME. But despite the dozens of millions of ringgits spent, they are still unable to attain BOD20. This is a 60 ton mill pending upgrade to 90 tons. They have four cooling ponds, one acidification pond, an anaerobic digester tank or biogas, seven anaerobic ponds, four aerobic ponds, a clarifier, and a polishing plant. The incoming BOD from the palm oil mill on the 18th of February 2020 was 36,000. This figure is obviously also the ADT inlet BOD. The ADT inlet BOD of 36,000 was recorded during a low crop season. We can expect that to fluctuate to 50,000 during a high crop season and with a pending upgrade to 90 tons per hour, we can expect then the BOD to fluctuate up to the vicinity of 80,000. The ADT outlet BOD was 2,485. Given that the efficiency of the ADD tank is around 80 to 85%, we can expect that the ADT outlet BOD to be about 10,000 during a high crop season. The average final discharge BOD for the last six months was about 100, going down to as low as 50. From the schematic, you can see that some of the flow process is not optimal. When the inlet and outlet of each pond it's not at the furthest distance. There will be some stasis of POME in some areas leading to a reduction in hydraulic retention time. As you can see, as highlighted, the outlet for the primary anaerobic pond is not optimally placed and hence there may be some stasis of POME highlighted in the upper right hand corner. On our recommendation, the sump pit outlet for primary anaerobic pond to the secondary anaerobic pond has since been relocated. The outlet at primary anaerobic pond 3 is not really well placed, so we recommended it for it to be shifted a bit to maximize hydraulic retention time. Have a close look at the facultative pond. Neither the inlet 
all the outlets are well placed to maximize hydraulic retention time. We hence recommend it for the inlet to be relocated or the outlet to be relocated as such. Since then, the sump pit outlet of the facultative pond to the aerobic pond has been relocated with appropriate prior desludging and then application of our bio-augmentation technology, we confidently feel that we can achieve BOD20 well before the POME reaches the primary aeration pond. Based on the enhanced decay coefficient using our advanced microbial treatment, we feel we can get or achieve BOD20 by perhaps pond 4, pond 5, or pond 6. But given the pending upgrade to a Naritan mill, the primary aeration pond and the polishing plant are a good insurance to have. After treatment with our customized microbials, there will be less odor and not so smelly because indigenous bacteria produces ammonia and hydrogen sulfide, while our customized bacteria produces carbon dioxide and water. In summary, this is a 60 ton mill, pond holding capacity of 178,850, with a daily flow rate of 1,200 tons, total HRT 148 days, average BOD 100, and the targeted BOD is 20. From the technical study, an audit report and a customized treatment plan has been sent to the mill. Thank you for listening and I trust that you find this video useful and informative. Thank you. Thank you.